अब स्टूडेंट्स बात स्टार्ट करेंगे अबाउट अर थर्ड एंड द लास्ट ब्रॉड कैटेगरी ऑफ द मल्टीपल एक्सेस प्रोटोकॉल्स एंड द कैटेगरी इज कॉल्ड चैनलाइजेशन और चैनल पार्टेशन स्टूडेंट्स चैनलाइजेशन में व्हाट वी डू इज वी डिवाइड द अवेलेबल बैंडविड्थ दैट वी हैव ऑन द ऑफ द शेयर मीडियम वी डिवाइड दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू इन इन टाइम और फ्रीक्वेंसी और यूजिंग सम कोड्स अमंग डिफरेंट स्टेशन स्टूडेंट्स देर आर थ्री टेक्निक्स that we are going to be talking about the first one is called frequency division multiple access or fdma the second one is called time division multiple access or tdma and the third and the last one is called uh, code division multiple access or cdma so it's the first one um, of these multiple access technologies is the fdma and as the name indicates we actually uh, divide the available bandwidth into different frequency bands so it's every station is allocated a, a particular frequency or a frequency band and that particular station only uses the frequency band that is allocated to that particular station to transmit its data students so because we have got different bands allocated to different stations um, we can actually send uh, data at the same time using these different frequency bands without any um, fear of the collisions students so a uh, each station also uses a band pass filter and that is used to confine the transmitter um, frequencies um, so that they don't um, actually overlap with each other so each station actually confines the frequency to its particular band by using a band pass filter so friends as you can see on the slide in this particular case we have got a particular band that's allocated a frequency band that's allocated to station 1 shown by this one we have got a second band um allocated to station 2 um station 3 has got a band allocated but it's silent in this particular case and the last one is allocated to um station number 4 so students in this case each one of these stations they are using their own particular band to send their uh, transmission on the common channel and therefore um they can actually send all these four transmissions at the same time students before we leave this uh, this uh, discussion of fdma i just want to clarify one additional point the fdma and fdm are two different techniques students fdma as i just told you this is a data link layer access method students your fdm is basically a physical layer multiplexing technique so students although the names are similar one is fdm we need to uh, make sure that that we understand that um, although fdma and frequency division multiplexing they are conceptually they they seem they may seem similar they are different fdm uh, the bandwidth uh, different bandwidth um, channels at the physical layer they are combined together low bandwidth channels and they are multiplexed because we need to transmit them using a high bandwidth channel fdma students um, as i've just told you it is an access method in the data link layer and the data link layer in this particular case it tells each station um, it the the physical layer to make a band pass channel from the data passed on to it so it's essentially different than frequency division multiplexing 